What's up, Maristas? We are back here with a very special guest, Antonio Rudier. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you very much. excited about this. <laughs> How was today's training session? Uh, today I'm a bit angry. I'm a bit angry. You are? Yes, yes because I lost. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I always like that you guys are so competitive. Every time I get the chance to be here in a training session, it's it's crazy. Yeah, because you know, like after after the training, they start talking, you know? <laughs> so that's why you don't want, you don't want to smoke. So yeah. that's why you want to win. I know, yeah, I know. Okay, okay. okay, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Champions League. So, First question is that in the last 10 years, Real Madrid has reached the quarterfinals eight times. What do you think this says about the club? It says a lot because uh, in one of those quarterfinals, uh, I've suffered a lot. I've suffered a lot when I was playing against Real Madrid. So that shows that they love this competition. It means a lot to them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. And. Tell me a little bit about the mood and the atmosphere in the team around this part of the season. Yeah, you can you can feel it in the training sessions, you know, like uh, the competition gets higher. People don't want to lose and uh, people are more focused and um, yeah, they are ready to ready to smash. OK, it's been a weird season in which we've had uh, a lot of adversities some of them uh, with injuries with teammates but still you guys have remained strong leaders in La Liga reached the quarterfinals in the Champions League what do you think uh, about the way Carlo Ancelotti has managed the team throughout the season yeah we had the as you said we had a lot of uh, injuries and uh, injuries you can never there's you cannot do something about it you know some injuries they're just there unlucky you know but yeah the, the coach is doing his job he's handling it well I think everybody knows all the Maridistas know how he is that he knows how to manage uh, big personalities and uh, he's doing it quite well and uh, yeah doing a good job and it also seems that you guys have remained like very close strong uh, not just with Carlo Ancelotti but also with uh, your teammates right no around the team we have a great bond we have a great bond uh, like uh, every everyone is different but uh, but on the pitch everybody is the same everybody is competitive everybody wants to win and uh, yeah we stick together and we do what it takes to win yeah exactly just what you were talking about today's training session yeah, 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 yeah. I love it <laughs> so first leg is going to be played at the Bernabeu we know that those are some very special nights uh, here in Madrid. What role do you think uh, the fans have to play at the Bernabeu for this game? No, like uh, these are the games that we everyone dreams of. Every Madridista dreams of, and um, you know it's an important game. And uh, I know the fans they will be there for us, but uh, it's always de it always depends on us. If we get, if we do our job, then I know the crowd is behind us. So we have to be on our best. Okay, yeah, I, I like that you take that uh, responsibility. Oh, <laughs> it's only us. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to face a team that you've played plenty of time, uh, plenty of times against them. What do you think uh, we have to do right in this in this quarterfinals? Yeah, not to only look at them, but also to do our job right to do our job right and of course they have players you have to be aware of of course but uh, i believe uh, we have to look at us you know i think this is this is the this is the main importance i think uh, it's about us let's go with um, talk me a little bit about your pre-match routine do you are you like superstitious no i'm not superstitious because uh, i'm a, i'm a proud muslim so I don't, I don't do things like I don't wear my shoes first on the right side or something like this. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's uh, like uh, I do pray. Okay. I do pray and uh, that's it. Okay. It, it can be like a part of uh, a routine. Yeah, yeah exactly. So let's go with some quick fire questions. Some of them will not just be related to football, it might be a little bit more personal. Mm -hmm. Okay. But first, the best goal you have ever seen. The best goal I've ever seen. I've seen me live. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. 
I have to say there was one goal from Olivier Giroud, like uh, at Arsenal, when he somehow with his back heel. Scorpion? Yeah, exactly. Like, no, no, that one was crazy. That one was really. Definitely. I have to say that one was good. Tell me a stadium to play, like a away stadium. San Mames. San Mames? Yes. Unbelievable atmosphere. Unbelievable. Good one. If you haven't, if you hadn't been a footballer, what would you have liked to do? Uh, a pilot. Pilot. Yes. Okay. That's nice. Cool. A dream, a dream to fulfill. Dream to fulfill. Uh, in what? In personal life or? In your personal life, yeah. In my personal life. You know, in my country, like in my the country of my parents, Sierra Leone, I want to create a lot of jobs. This is my dream. That's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years? Yeah, on my mission to create a lot of jobs in, I like in Sierra it. Leone. Yeah. You have a plan. Yeah. It is. Your favorite sound? Sound? Yeah. Like music or? No, sound. Something that, like, when we asked uh, Tony Cross, he told us, like, uh, when they play darts, there's ah, like a very special yeah, yeah, yeah. music, and he, he liked that one. Me, I like uh, when I'm at home and it's raining. It's nice, the this, sound of rain. Yeah. The most famous contact you have on your phone? The most famous, the most famous. Yeah, Luka Modric. Luka Modric, okay. And who is your best friend in football? My best friend in football is Mateo Kovacic. Mateo Kovacic? Yes. You guys have a good bond. Yeah, we have a very good bond. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Uh, Perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed it, this little chat with Antonio Rudiger. Thank you very much for being with us today. Always a pleasure being with you.